Hello everybody and welcome back for more Disgaea Hour of Darkness. Now as you see, there's a bit of extra time and it says cycle 2. Why? Because when I tried to record the next episode, I died. Repeatedly. Like over and over again. To the first boss. Who we had unlocked. He was too strong. So what I did is I pretty much went and grinded. So, uh, status? No, status. As you can see, we've got Lahal, who is now level 8. Etna's still level 3, didn't touch the printies. Holroyd, now 6. Grey, who is a new character, which is a ice skull, or a blue skull. Orvin, who is another new character, who is a red skull, or a fire skull. And Jolly, who has now been upgraded into a star skull. Star is an element that cannot be resisted, however, it can also not do bonus damage to an enemy. So, I made sure I went out of my way to get him, just because I thought he'd be, well, exceedingly useful. So, we've upgraded Jolly to our Star Skull. They're all five. We've got a little bit more equipment, so I believe we are going to move on and hopefully be able to beat the next level of this, which is the Hall of Caresses. So we're gonna see, yeah, time's cleared, zero. Time's cleared, two, two, one, and I think I did this one a bunch of times. Yeah, 14. Just to grind up a little bit. So we're gonna go into the Hall of Caresses and hopefully do better this time. Using the term hopefully very loosely. Is this the last room? <laughs> Who's there? How rude! Invading a man's house and asking him who's there? But I give you credit for your bravery. Ha! Voila! Forgive moi, I must leave you in awe. My name is Vyers. I am the lord of this castle. Vyers. Isn't he the demon that's been knocking off competition for the throne? We. Oui. That is correct, mademoiselle. I am an aristocrat with both strength and beauty. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Young man, I assume that you are the son of the late king? That's right. I'm Laharl, the heir to the throne. The heir to the throne? Ha! That is history, dear boy. Your existence has long been forgotten. Are you blind to the horde of demons lining up to fight for the throne? So, I'm the heir. That's all that matters. If they've forgotten, then I'll just have to make them remember. I see. So you saw my potential and decided to strike first against more. Such wonderful intuition. Well played, son of Krzyzewskor. I've never even heard of you. It's only a coincidence that we're here. You're just a tiny stepping stone on my path to the throne. <gasps> How dare you? I am the Dark Adonis Vine. Who gives a damn about you? Your new name is Midboss. Mid, mid, Midboss? Looks like you heard his pride, Prince. Unforgivable! That is unforgivable! Okay. Let's see if we can beat this guy this time. Because last time, I got absolutely destroyed. Why? These two here. See how it says attacks plus one and enemy boost times six? That means that they do an, a metric shit ton of damage. So, we're going to get Auburn. How far does your spell reach? To there. We are going to get the hull out of here. And Holroyd out of here. Going to get Etna. No. Etna to here. We are then going to get Grey to here. 
we're going to use the double ice to try and hopefully take her out. We'll see how this goes. This is either going to make us or break us here, and it's all over. Um, I'm going to put a couple more guys here pretty much as a distraction. Okay, so we're going to end our turn. See how this goes. Because it's not going to go well. We're pretty much just testing to see how badly we're going to fail here. Counter. 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 Okay. So I need to get you up here. Special Blade Rush. If I can do 22 damage to all of them, and I mean literally all of them, then we may be able to win this. No, we missed one. Ah. Uh, um, I'm just gonna... Like, this character's dead. I completely forgot to equip him. Like, he's got a wooden staff and a common orb. That's it. So I'm gonna back Etna up a little bit here. Because, like, this guy here, he's dead. Execute this. Do like no damage to everyone. Holy shit. Maybe do a little bit of damage to everyone. And end the turn. Oh, goodbye, Alden. You did good for what you had to do. You weakened a bunch of people. That's about all I needed you to do. So we're going to attack the Geo symbol. Beautiful. Now we're going to bring out Jolly. Special star. Let's see how much this does. Not as much as I hoped it would, but still a... Sorry to use the term again, but it's one of my favorite terms. A metric shit ton of damage. So we're going to get Lahal over to here. Uh, who else have we got in bay here? Um, no one. Okay. So if we're going to win this, we're going to need to win it with what we have right now. Luckily, uh, oh no, here comes mid boss. Counter, counter, counter. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Counter, counter, counter. Yeah, counter. Damn it, she didn't counter. Okay, let's get you to moving. Okay, so... Mid-boss, you son of a bitch. Level 6, 196 HP and 36 SP. And he has, I believe, a star attack. Which, as I was talking about before, cannot be resisted. So, pretty much our goal here is going to be to take out everyone else. Because if he's still on the field... Well, if everyone else is still on the field at the same time as him, we're in for a little bit of trouble. To attack him. Execute. Will that kill? Yes, it will. Okay. This may or may not kill. We got a 50-50 chance here. It'll kill. And we're going to kill zero. Yeah. And Edna's at four. But now we've got a character and a boss. Mid, a mid boss to be precise, but still a boss. Okay, here's where it gets dangerous. The Adonic shot. This is pretty much what single-handedly killed me last time. It attacks in a row. Wow, my characters are much stronger than they were last time. Okay. This may not be quite as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Special star. So, we are going to do this. Wait, what items do you have? Paw glove? So, that means he's a monster. Huh, fun fact. 
Dark Lord Adonis, he's a monster. The more you know. So I'm going to sit you... No, we're not going to sit you there. I'm going to sit you here. We are going to special... Can we get mid-boss? No. So we're going to have to normally attack him. And Lahal... Actually, no. Edna, for now, stay over there. Because I am going to... Wait, do you resist fire? Do you resist fire? No. So we are going to be... Using a Blazing Knuckle. Which I pretty much leveled up for this exact fight. So, execute. That'll attack everything around us. Didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. But a lot more than I thought it would. So we are going to be moving him here. Uh, to be moving Jolly back here maybe? That, keep him protected from him. No, it would not. What about here? Yes, indeed it would. Uh, Etna, I guess we can put her here for now. Attack mid boss, and we'll end our turn here. And we're just gonna watch and see how this ends up unfolding. Because we're all pretty spread out, I don't think you can get two of us in one turn. And that was stupid on his part. Oop, double counter. Triple counter. I think Adonis may be dead this turn. Impaler. Um, use an Impaler, we'll use a triple strike. Okay, we'll have to use the Impaler first. Because that'll push her back a space. Which means we will then be able to use triple strike. How much health has he got left? 17. So we're going to bring Jolly in. We're going to go for the star. And hopefully finish him off. Bada bing! There goes mid boss. I thought I was going to have a lot more trouble with... Then again, I did lose like 95% of my team. There we go. So I'm going to assume there's another cutscene, so... Estimated your skill. I took you for but a child. But that was an error in judgment. I am too kind-hearted. Liar! You were serious just now. How pathetic. Nothing's worse than a sore loser. Ugh, what repulsive little brats you are! I shall come to return the favor, so do not forget. Mwah! Let's collect the spoils and head home. Uh, Prince, I need to use the best room. Master Etna ran away. Which means, dude, we're gonna have to carry all this? We're Master Etna's vassals, not the Prince's. Etna's vassals are my vassals. And my vassals do what I say. Now get to work. Dude! Now, now. It's only until next Red Moon, right? I guess you're right, dude. I'll get to work. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. I see. But still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? If he fully recovers, this will become a difficult task. Don't worry. If you leave it to me, the throne will be yours. Are you sure you can deliver on that promise? Yes. Remember, an exchange? I know. When I reign supreme as the Overlord, I shall return it to you. <laughs> well, it seems like we're going up against Count Dracula here. Oh, next episode. Finally, 
the time has come for Prince Laharl to pay for all his evil deeds. Hey! Now, Edna will fulfill the late prince's wish and succeed him to the throne. I'm not dead. So long, prince. Your humble vassal, Etna, will put your money and power to good use. You're one scary girl. Next on Hyperdimensional Deep and Gal, Etna, Episode 2, The Birth of Queen Etna. A new era of the netherworld begins. You're delusional. Oh, there we go. We beat mid-boss. Got a couple of levels in the process, showed off our new team members, made a shit ton of money. And another one. Celestia, a world where beings known as angels live. The netherworld, Celestia, and the human world. Legend has it that these worlds are connected. This is one of such nexuses between the netherworld and Celestia. However, it is sealed by a gate constructed by the angels of ancient times. Did you send for me, Master Lamington? Yes, I did. Here, Flan, have a look. The flowers are in full bloom. How beautiful! <laughs> I love these flowers. They are simple yet so bright and lively. I want to be like these flowers. Flan, listen carefully to what I have to say. As Seraph, I have orders for you, Angel Trainee Flan. Go to the Netherworld and assassinate the Overlord King Krajewskoy. Huh? Episode 2, Enter Flan. Well, I'm here. The Overlord's Castle. I still wonder why the Seraph picked me, though. Master Volcanus would have been a much better choice. Not only that, but an assassination. What is the Seraph thinking? Master Lemmington. Master Lemmington, are you here? Why all the ruckus, Volcanus? You scared the birds away. Who cares about the birds? Is it true that you sent Flog to assassinate King Krajewskoy? Yes, it is true. What, what, what did you do that for? King Krajewskoy is the ruler of that abominable, dirty, rotten netherworld! If you want him assassinated, it would make more sense to send me. Instead, you pick that angel trainee. You think too highly of her. I am very aggravated by this. That is exactly why you are not fit for this task. Besides, this is something that only Flan can accomplish. Whoosh! Can't 
kill strangers. Hmm. Can't kill acquaintances either. Which means... Oh... Who are you? And why are you in my room talking to yourself? Ah! Ow! What the heck did you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry. You scared me, so I accidentally... Huh? Is he a demon? There are demons this young? I didn't know that. Hmm. So who are you? Me? Nice to meet you. I'm an assassin. Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that. You're pretty dense, aren't you? My! How rude! Calling somebody you just met dense! I think an assassin that tries to kill someone in his sleep is a lot ruder. You're right. I apologize. Is she really an assassin? It looks like I failed this time, so I guess I'll be leaving now. I'll be back again. Please take care. themselves to sleep. Those idiots! I'm gonna smack them and wake them up now! We've got an assassin to track down! Well, here we go, the introduction of chapter two. And as you can see, there are no more weapons. This coffin's been magically repaired. Now, I can't remember if I did that. No, I didn't, so... Let's do this. Dragon's still here. Still level 340. Still kind of want to try and kill him. So, now we are on to chapter 2, one could assume at least. Am I going to come over to here? Not what I meant to do, but let's check it out. Nope, there are no new weapons. Although we do seem to have a decent amount of money. Yes, I will press the switch. So now we're going to try and have a quick peek at this secret room thingy. Prince, I'm going to the bathroom, okay? Hopefully there's more here now. There is. A certain demon stole my memories. There's something he wants me to do in exchange. I'd do just about anything to get my memories back. But would the king forgive me? That's my only fear. Well, that one wasn't quite as detailed as the first one, was it? Anyway, I think we're going to come up here. And we are going to save our game. Save. Prince of the Netherworld. Episode 2, Enter Flon. So anyway, everybody, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part, and until next time.